just because of Hope Keeper. And it's good because if you, you just want the number, you can still use it. Even um, behind Benon? Even behind Benon. It's still really good early game. Actually, it's GB1, so it doesn't work. <laughs> but um, basically, it's another target for Benon, which really came in the clutch. And next, we got four copies of Laurel Knight Sicilis. Uh, simply because it's a stride based deck, you want to be striding as much as possible. Soon, they will be all full art. And then four copies of Miron. Uh, I've seen a lot of people that play five copies or maybe like two more Richards basically. I feel like it's just way too much um, because there's better cards that you can play over that and I don't really think that you'd be wanting to burn all your CBs through Ben on that turn because you can be going for multi-attack plays with Twin Sword and Lou. Uh, so that's why I'm choosing instead of the other like five, six copies of Miron, I'm going with two more Barkle. Uh, just basically. I feel like it's just way too much um, because there's better cards that you can play over that and I don't really think that you'd be wanting to burn all your CBs through Ben on that turn because you can be going for multi-attack plays with Twin Sword and Lou. Uh, so that's why I'm choosing instead of the other like five, six copies of Miron, I'm going with two more Barkle. Uh, just because it's, an, it's a nice early booster for Lou and it still makes some really nice plays. Uh, swinging 19 early game or just having the extra 28k lane on the Sanctuary Guard stride. It's just so good. And moving on to our triggers, oh, we're playing one of the most aggressive decks in the game, so you want to be playing eight crits. Um, there's no question. You can you, like draws are good also in this deck since it is kind of combo oriented. Uh, but the whole point of it of this deck is that even if you have to run with triggers and drop like a poop column, Sanctuary Guard fixes that for you. Because even if you have a full field of grade ones, you're giving plus fifteen thousand to the front row. It's insane. And then if you add that on top of all your crits you're running in the deck, your opponent might just get punched in the face and not even expect it. Like, sometimes you think you're going to lose, and you win. Uh, four of them, of course, being Bellinus, because it's free soul and extra draws if you are on the ultimate stride. And then four of the Beast Flogel. Uh, it's insane what this card can do. Uh, it can provide so much multi-attacks for the Blaster Blades. It's really strong on the Sanctuary turns and also your ultimate turns. Uh, it's basically your, one of the best finishes in this uh, deck. And then lastly, we got four heals. I'm uh, going with the Seeker Loving Healer because I like the art. You can bash on it, but whatever. Elaine's cool too, but I just like this one better. And our starter is, of course, Milius. He's going to go ahead and grab us that grade two. I've tried other starters. I just felt like this was best. Uh, I know that there was the other variant that had like Wingle Brave in it. Uh, the deck had to change a lot because you needed more blasters in order to get Wingle Brave off. It was still really good. But Milius is just all around better because if you're really that much in a pinch with 4 CB, you can make like pretty epic plays. Uh, moving on to our G zone, we are playing 3 copies of Holy Dragon Sanctuary Guard Regalier. Uh, this is just basically a card that should be restricted to 1 or 2. It's just so strong. It's, it's really stupid. Um, essentially just getting super power lanes for l pretty much no cost is just ridiculous. Uh, it makes your multi-attack plays so strong because it's a continuous skill. So no matter what you'll be calling during the battle phase, it's still going to be getting that plus 3k. Uh, this is basically the stride that you want to be going into almost all the time if you have the setup right. And then after that, we got four copies of Aerial Divine Knight Ultimile. Ultimile is just, it's so good because it's so free. You get to call whatever grade 2 you need as long as that GB2 is active for him. Uh, ideally, the play you want to do is the Blaster Blade Flogel play, if you do have Flogels in there. Uh, what I like to do, if you know your deck is low, full of triggers, you just call out all your Flogels, you grab the Blaster Blade with Ultimile, and you swing with the whatever 32,000 Blaster Blade as long as you pass all the triggers to it. Now, that's imagining if you pass three triggers, which is just godlike. And then after following that, we got four copies of Holy Brand Dragon, St. Blood Dragon. I see a lot of people running this only at 2 or not running it at all, which is weird because your control matchups, this guy is going to carry the team. Um, you know, Link Joker, for example, is one that's just, you want to be able to swing with something with some kind of pressure because you can't be going to Sanctuary Guard Regalias with one rear guard on board. It's not going to work like that. Um, Sanctuary Guard, I mean, uh, St. Blow, at least if you have two rear guards, you're going to get at least some kind of pressuring stride attack, so you do get that one crit. Uh, so that does help a ton. I don't know why people run Seabreeze. This is like not even a generation break deck, really. Uh, if you need to Seabreeze, you just go early game rushing. Your limit break plays with Sanctuary Guard are probably going to do the work for you. Uh, your CBs are just way too important and to waste on like a counter boss to stride vanilla. It doesn't really make sense, for, at least to me. And next, I'm running one copy of the new Blazing Sword Fights. 
Uh, I actually really like this card. I used to run Gablade instead, but essentially he is the replacement only because, you know, he doesn't have to hit. Um, it replaces whatever card you have in your hand simply to get another grade 2. Uh, if the, the grade 2 is Brave ability, you get to draw another card. But ideally, if you really need to go into fights, most likely you're having, you know, you're opening like poop. You don't have a board or whatever. So this lets you call out, you know, your Twin Sword. This lets you call out your uh, Benon into a full column so you can plus off that. It's just really good where you can set up a board with, you know, no cost. And it's not, like, on attack either, so... It doesn't mess with, I don't know if they're going to sweep your back row already with the Defeat Flare that early. But this is, I feel like, a really good tech card instead of the Gablade since it doesn't have to hit. And then moving on to G-Guards, I'm running two copies of Laser Guard Dragon. Uh, Laser Guard is great. It's just a free 31 shield, or 21 shield, I'm sorry. 21 shield if you're able to get that grade 2 on the board. And what's nice is that it's a plus 5k that is like on place so as long as you have the grade 2 you get the 5k and then after that if you don't have enough shield you can just intercept with the 5k you just did so you're not going to lose that extra 5k shield and then I got one copy of metal element screw for the control matchups and you know guard restrict decks like DP and then the one copy of dismal this is really gonna protect our twin swords and lose those are our basically our most important grade twos um, what I felt like changing maybe was dropping either the laser guard just for flipping it for another dismal uh, I haven't tested enough, you know, to know which one is really better. I feel like Double Dismal would be good, but two Laser Guards is just really free also for those easy 21s. Thanks for watching, guys. That was our Sanctuary Guard deck profile. Let me know what you guys think of it down below. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of changes because the new set didn't give a lot of support for the Saint Guard. I think really the best card that was improved uh, was changing the ability to change out Gamblade into Fides. I think that Fides is a great utility stride, and I think it's even better in a Brave deck. Uh, which is kind of sad because Brave is totally poof. Um, but it's still nice utility stride to add into an already powerful deck. So like I always say, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below, like our videos, and subscribe for more content. Vanguard Central, out. Hey guys, Arcade for 7 once again, and I'm just doing a follow-up video to the GTD09 uh, True Zodiac Time Beast uh, unboxing that I did. So, I just want to go over the deck that I put together based off of the trial deck. So, um, this deck can be purchased pretty much for $28. There, everything is trial deck except for um, two cards. And uh, there are some other tweaks I'd like to make to it, but uh, just for now, this is what I came up with. So, uh, as for the starter, Chrono Dran, and I won't go over their skills because uh, I did that in the unboxing video. So, if you haven't seen the unboxing video, there will uh, be a nail description for that. So, um, but uh, Chrono Dran G, Chrono Dran G for the starter, um, four copies of Chrono Jet Dragon G, and four copies of Chrono Fang Tiger G. Then I run for Chrono B Buffalo, the 11k attack guy. For Chrono Claw Monkey, and he's kind of like a powerhouse as well. Uh, he gets 5,000. And uh, three copies of Chrono Spin Serpent, just vanilla uh, 10k grade 2. Um, Four of the trial deck perfect guards. Chronothos Jackal four of and four Steam Sniper Lishma. And the only two cards that are outside the trial deck is one copy of Casualty Dragon. Um, I'll go over his skill because he's not in the trial deck. He actually comes from the uh, the uh, clan booster. But his skill is good. Focus this real quick. Right, so his skill is 
Uh, when he's placed on rear, if you have a Vanguard with Chrono Jet and its card name, choose uh, choose one of your units until end of turn. It gets plus 2,000 power and time lead. So Vanguard or Rear Guard, uh, when this unit uh, attack hits a Vanguard, choose one of your other Rear Guards and you may time lead. But this guy is actually pretty sweet. I like him a lot because I'd rather be on Chrono, Chrono Jet. So he works for Chrono Jet, obviously. So I would actually bump him to like four and bring her down but I only have one right now that I got from uh, from one of my packs and the other card is the one I got actually from the pre-release it's Steam Maiden Mesh Kia and her skill is rest this unit when this unit is placed on rear from your deck due to uh, timely you may pay the cost if you do draw a card choose one of your other rear guards and it gets plus 4,000 power so that's pretty sweet draws your card gives the unit power pretty I, don't, I actually don't know how much this card is going for at the moment. Uh, it might be a little too much, it might not. But this is outside of the trunk as well. And as for triggers go, there are four stands from the trial deck. Four crit as well. Four kill. And lastly, four of the hot draws. So, I don't have, uh, I believe his name is like Uratar uh, Stand Trigger, which would probably be the better option just because he's really, really good. But this is nice in there because of the uh, Zodiac Timepiece. It's a Zodiac Timepiece, so that works out nice. And then, as for the g just four copies of the Trondet Grade 4 uh, Metal Pulsar Clone Long. And then uh, these two are actually from the uh, Clan Booster as well. Deus Ex Machina Ergos. And uh, bind the top card of your deck face up. Uh, when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, you will pay the cost. If you do, choose up to one card from your bind zone and put it into your hand. And choose a card from your hand and bind it face up. It's just, it's just something in there. I, mean, I probably won't uh, ever ride it because it's not a Zodiac Time Beast. Or I don't think it's a, it's not a gear drive, I don't think it's a Colossus, so it won't work with Chrono uh, Jet. Uh, that is all. And then I put these two in there. The little tiny leaf uh, marker. So. Uh, but that's it, guys. Just a really quick follow up video on uh, what I did with the trial deck thus far. Um, once I make more updates to it and actually play with this, I'm going to be uh, coming back with uh, another update of it as well. But, Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. support and I'm um, pretty excited about it I never played gears before but um, when I saw this I was like oh you know I'd go ahead and give it a try so I picked up two of the trial decks and um, they really want to help me up to three stamp uh, which is pretty cool so I'll be getting two more of them so I can go There's a lot of cards I'll probably be taking out of this and putting in uh, some other things. I don't have a lot of Gear Chronicle cards, but I do have some of the older things. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, swap out. Seriously, like a guide card. But uh, it comes with this first guide. And what is this thing? 
Oh wow, this thing is long. So I guess it just tells you how to play. Skill is uh, continuous Vanguard during your turn. Uh, for every two basic cards in your war zone, this unit gets plus 5,000 power and all of your zodiac time beasts. Rear guards get plus 1 from your deck and shuffle your deck at the end of turn put the called unit to the bottom of your deck and call the bound card so it, it kind of gives I on the call which is pretty cool. cool so their skills can always activate whenever they're recalled so two of those comes in in the trial deck <laughs> next is uh Metal Pulsar Long Long. I shall last. You may pay the cost. If you do choose a great one, or greater That's actually pretty cool. You can just work back in that your card if you can. Or you can call it off. Our enemy has destroyed the force. Two of him. I will deliver this realm from your corruption, Hellspawn. Next is Chrono Fang Tiger G. I wish this one was signed, but of it's not. Course. But uh, it has a Vanguard Rearguard ability. Soul Blast one. Choose a card. Uh, choose a card from. Uh, choose one of your other rear guards and bind it face up. At the end of the turn, at the end of the battle, that this unit can attack the Vanguard. You may pay the cost if you don't choose one of your opponents to the same power as this unit your opponent's It is time for a change in strategy. I like this guy. He's pretty decent. I think for a if we need to try out. Unit is placed on rear. Killing this spree. Unit grade minus two. So if you get minus two grade, you know, it's actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be taking her out and just running four chrono jets and four. Uh, 
Counter Blast yes. one when this unit is placed on rear. There's Zeddy at Time Beast on the Vanguard. You don't pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets plus 5,000 power for the end of turn. Pretty nice skill. It, um, Let the burning hells atone like I said, the, uh, for their sins. Right, from uh, Chrono Drag, Chrono Jet, you know, would work on too. But it doesn't take that power. <laughs> Products always have these little shield guys. This guy's when you intercept, he gets plus 10,000 shield. This isn't bad, that's a lot of He's a grade one that can swing for 11 at the Vanguard, so you call a grade zero and swing him at the Vanguard solo. That was pretty cool. Steam Sniper Lishma skill is tiny. Soul Blast when you choose to copy the unit and discard it. At the end of battle, if this unit boosted a, uh, a Vanguard. Oh, boosted a vanguard. You may pay the cost. If you do, time leap this unit. This unit is placed on rear. Choose one of your other Zodiac Time Beasts, and it gets plus 3,000 power to the end of turn. The 6k body hurts, but I mean, the power up is pretty cool. I don't mind that at all. So. And the perfect guard. Let's see what this thing uh, Choose a card from your hand and discard it, obviously. And uh, when this unit is placed on Guardian, you may pay the cost if you do choose one of your units that is. It's actually pretty dope. Venus sweet because for long, um, it doesn't have to be pushed in. That is actually uh, pretty decent. So I like that. And it's a good, uh, it's a good um, you know, if you can't afford the counter charge. Next is the starter, Chrono Dran G. This will make yourself Search your deck for the same grade as that you Killing spree turn. is over. So I'll be running four of those. Guys. And then there is let me um, Okay, this is kind of I guess the uh, mark if one of your guys has time left. Uh, time left. You can use this kind of like as an indicator of which unit is time. 
I need. So that's pretty cool. All right, so on to the packs. Hopefully I get something good. Usually I get crap. I'm probably going to pull crap, but um, yeah, see, <laughs> pull crap. But it's all right. But like I said, I'll probably just go into uh, I'll enter a tournament. <laughs> Pack. 